this is uh, day four of my trip to uh, Houston, Texas from Quebec. And my first stop is, in, is in, at a TA truck stop in a small town with a beautiful, romantic, almost Italian name, Earl. You basically can feel love is in the air. Well, also there's some slight smell of urine. And the guy in front of me at the fuel pump uh, was parked for 30 minutes. Uh, but besides that, it's not the circumstances, it's how you look at things, right? And I feel pretty happy because I just had a huge breakfast. Lots of protein, so I don't care. By, but one thing about this uh, Earl uh, TA is that I fueled up. So I was able to calculate my fuel mileage and the last time my fuel tanks were full was at the TA in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And from Ann Arbor to here it's 750 miles. And my tanks here took 146.4 US gallons. So we divide 750 by 146.4 and regrettably my uh, miles per gallon on this stretch has only been 5.12 miles per gallon and I failed that because normally with anywhere like you know up to 40,000 pounds I do better than six because I have some improvements in the engine lots of power right uh, good axle ratio so I get like 6.3 6.5 and all this way I was driving about 100k an hour so 62 miles an hour but there was strong wind and this box you know this crate is very wide and it just sits you know pushes the wind so there's a lot of uh, friction and plus of course I have uh, not friction but uh, air resistance and plus I have the third axle uh, and it's 59,000 pounds so that's why these loads these uh, overweight loads should pay well because you burn much more fuel you know that's a big difference between let's say 6.5 miles per gallon and 5 miles per gallon you know just to compare let's say 2,000 miles uh, divided by 6.5 that's uh, 307 gallons versus 400 gallons at 5 miles per gallon so you basically you're burning 100 gallons more right and you know let's say a good price would be 375 so 375 bucks out of your pocket you know so that's why at least it should be more than a regular load what I'm trying to say but anyway trying to be positive this morning it's not easy but I'm trying the big breakfast helps uh, but I spent the time um, this morning, you know, in pleasant contemplation, uh, listening to this audiobook, and I've really been enjoying this uh, because this is about that guy, uh, the character of Mark Wahlberg in the movie Shooter. Only here, he's much older, but it's the same guy. It's like the former sniper from Nam, like no, no BS type of guy, no straight shooter. <laughs> Uh, it's great, you know, and basically he's trying to find out who killed his father back in 90, 1955. He, the father of his character in this book was, uh, was a state trooper in Arkansas, where I am right now, in uh, West Arkansas. So basically right in this area somewhere. And there was a murder and now like the action is taking place you know like 50 60 years later and there's still some secrets and turns out there was a big conspiracy and uh, his father was killed in a shootout be uh, you know between where a couple of criminals were involved and now it turns out there was a sniper it's like CIA black ops you know like great uh, I really love this book so if anyone likes uh, audiobooks check out uh, Stephen Hunter black light amazing hi my
at the Flying J in Te Texarkana, Arkansas, and my wish for warm weather came true. But of course, that's already too uh, too warm because you know I'm pulling a heavy load, and as soon as uh, I go, you know, on a hill, and of course I have to use my air conditioning. I see the uh, coolant temperature start rising, you know, and uh, the, the radiator fan goes on quite often. And of course that affects fuel mileage as well, so. But it's, you know, on the other hand, it's good to be, uh, to be back in the uh, hot summer. Whereas over there in Ontario and Quebec, you know, people are wearing jackets already, like, right? So. I think from here it's still about uh, five hours uh, to Houston. My next stop will probably be uh, Lefkin. Lefkin, Texas. There's a, there's a small truck stop over there. What the heck are these people doing? Alright, so how are you going to turn? Well, one way to do that is to, you know, make the angle between your uh, trailer and the truck uh, 180 degrees. It's too bad I don't have a zoom on this uh, camera. I don't like this truck stop. It's, uh, it's very busy, but unfortunately this is the only one at the end of uh, Texarkana. Yeah, check out this, uh, what this guy is doing. His trailer is now 90 degrees. Look at his hoses. Well, I guarantee that's a company driver. If you were owner-operator, you would never pull a trailer like this. Now, what is this guy doing? Uh-huh. Yeah, lots of fun. Nice uh, classic Peter build. He has another one, but uh, aerodynamic type. I cannot drink coffee anymore, it's too hot. I think I'll go get some uh, iced tea. Oh, he has a setup. Check this out. Three axles on the truck. And three axles on the trailer. And then he has this uh, Jeep or, uh, what is that? Another two axles. So three, three, eight. Oh, and his front axle was quite big, so. This is a good position, you know, I can see lots of good trucks here. I got it. From Texarkana, it's three hours or 300 kilometers to uh, Lufkin, Texas. And there's uh, Loves. Uh, and there's Walmart and according to uh, info, the info I found on the net uh, that Walmart uh, has uh, overnight parking so hey I'd rather go to the to the Walmart because I know that loves it's a it's a small truck stop it's always it's always full so now it's five o'clock or four local time so three more hours of driving and I'm done and then it's only a couple of hours, one and a half hours in the morning to, to uh, Houston. Well, careful uh, trip planning has paid off. 
and I found a nice uh, parking spot at a overnight Walmart parking lot in uh, Lufkin, Texas. Next to me are some uh, fellow truckers. I saw an RV. And I found a nifty spot, you know, like in the, in the pocket where, where I'm out of the way. And I'm not blocking any roads. And I'm only about two hours away from, uh, I just checked uh, the GPS. It says uh, 190 kilometers. To, uh, from here to uh, downtown uh, Houston, which is uh, what 110 miles. So I'm doing okay, running on schedule. Now I can go inside, get some maybe some deli or some salad, and now I need to do. Uh, I started in New Brunswick, no, Nova Scotia, all the deadhead to Quebec, now I have to do the IFTA report, you know, the fuel tax, and of course, you know, when you cross so many jurisdictions, it's, it's a lot of work, so now I have to show all the roads and all the miles I did between uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia and Houston, Texas, probably take me an hour to uh, to do it but you gotta do it so tomorrow is the D-Day delivery thanks for watching stay tuned